Eliaphas Levy was the most notable French occult writer of the 19th century. He initiated the modern revival of magic as a spiritual path and felt the purpose of the magician was to become a more fully realized human being. He was born to a poor Catholic family. His father was a cobbler and he was known as a bright, hard-working student and a pious Catholic with a mystical bent. He attended seminary school and was ordained as a deacon in the Catholic Church in 1835. Some say he was defrocked before this happened. Whatever the case, his career in priesthood was short-lived. He was also imprisoned three times for his radical politics. Levy sought to reconcile magic and religion. He confidently positioned magic as a discipline compatible with both science and Christianity, and capable of unifying both. Levy was deeply influenced by 18th century English occultist Francis Barrett. Barrett's classic work The Magus contains the magical viewpoint of 18th century England and laid the foundation for many esoteric schools and magic orders to come. In 1852, Levy became a disciple of Joseph Mary Huni Vronsky, a Polish mathematician, mystic and Kabbalist. Vronsky had a huge influence on Levy's becoming a writer on magic. In July 1854, Levy claims to have evoked the spirit of Apollonius Tyanus, a Pythagorean philosopher in London. At this time he devoted himself to the study of the Kabbalah and became associated with the English Rose Cross. He was first to use the term astral light and said it is through this astral light that the signs and wonders of magic are mediated. Levy also played a significant role in the development of the esoteric tarot, which he referred to as the ancient Egyptian Book of Hermes. He described the tarot as the universal key of magical works, and as such, the key to all ancient religious dogmas, including even the Bible. He also was one of the first to connect the Kabbalah with the Tarot. He was also a great artist and illustrated his books with symbols and diagrams, many of which have attained iconic status. Levy identified three fundamental principles of magic. 1. That the material universe is only a small part of total reality which includes many other planes and modes of consciousness. Full knowledge and full power in the universe are only attainable through awareness of these other aspects of reality. One of the most important of these levels or aspects of reality is the astral light, a cosmic fluid which may be molded by will into physical forms. Two that human willpower is a real force, capable of achieving absolutely anything, from the mundane to the miraculous. 3. That the human being is a microcosm, a miniature of the macrocosmic universe, and the two are fundamentally linked. Causes set in motion on one level may equally have effects on another. His most famous work is Dogme et Rituel de la Haute Magie, 1855, and was translated into English by Arthur Edward Waite as Transcendental Magic, Its Doctrine and Ritual. This book contained a synthesis of Western magic, including Kabbalah, divination, tarot, astrology, alchemy, talismans, prophecy, and much more. This book was the base for Mathers' formation of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, founded in London in 1888, which adopted much of Levy's magical system.